Hello traders, it's another new day and then you are welcome. Today I'm going to share with you what I can figure out on the currency pairs of the USD pair against the Canadian dollar and then congratulations to all the entire VIP members. It was you know, a highly profitable trade you know, week for us. And uh, I have already you know, given my personal opinion on the list of currency pairs we traded for I was for trial this week. That was uh, from Monday to that was uh, yesterday, Wednesday. So I have already given up my opinion where I wish to uh, get out, maybe to swing trade or to, to get up uh, with my profit. So today I'm going to share with you what I can figure out you know, to have you no know, high possibility, high probability to, tra to transform into a profitable trade on the currency pairs of the USA, Canada. And then right here I have, you can see right here, I'm going to try to zoom in on this currency page right there so we can see the whole picture right here properly if we should you no know, view this you no know, properly technically we can figure out you no know, price is correctly transforming going through a trial price of transformation through hard uh, is symmetrical you no know, pattern right here and then we all know in a symmetrical triangle uh price can either break to the upside or to the downside and what i can figure out right here is i'm gonna zoom in again once again so what I can figure out right there is I have you no know, a rising channel inside a symmetrical triangle, and we all know the implication of a bullish channel. The bullish channel technically price have high probability to break to the downward side. And then let's try to zoom in properly on this uh, chart right here. So zooming in, uh, actually this is a daily chart frame of the ULZ. You guys can figure out you no know, price actually broke out of this you no know, rising bullish channel that was on yesterday, but that was on Wednesday, bar and then because this is a daily chart frame, and then we can see right now this Thursday we have a little bearish you no know, action in place right now. And then not only price broke out of this bullish channel yesterday, price carved a potential bearish engulfing bar. And you can see that this is a bearish and going by the wish no technically it's a uh, bearish signal that means the best are interested to put price more in a downward trend and then take note the next key level resistance uh right here is the price level of 1.35212 and then we can see how the best enjoy a daily close below this key level structure yesterday even though it's not so much an aggressive bearish rally but price did carved or very chain going back. So what am I looking out for on this currency page right here? I what I can figure out here technically is this uh price action pattern right here. Have I probability to set this currency pairs in a more bearish downward rally to retain the dynamic structure which acts at an intersection of the 1.35212 and then the next level structure comes in at the price level of 1.33388. So what I'm looking out for on this currency pairs right now is I still want to figure out a more defined you no know, bearish price action on the lower time frame so I can figure out the right time to get in because I don't want to get in right now. There I can see be a volatility in the market today and the price makes a reversal of trend in a, a bullish upward rally just to more what I'm looking out for is I want to figure out or more bearish price action on this currency pairs that is a rejection of this our dynamic broken support line right here to now act as a new dynamic resistance trend line as as well our key level structure right here i want it to reject our price whereby if i can figure out some like, uh, like a bearish pin bar that would be very 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 nice and then let's figure out the four hour chart frame what i can figure out on the four hour chart frame because if i want to take this trade how we actually look out for the bearish more uh, confluence factors on the lower time frame so to be in conformity with the higher time frame right here so let's check on the four hour chart frame so guys here's the four hour chart frame of the us appeared against the canadian we can see our price made a rally through this channel right here and then we can figure out the low high swings right i mean the high low right here and we can figure out right here we have a high which was now higher than this and then we can figure out right here this highs right here and then highs right here so right here the pattern right here it's a transformation of a bearish interest and then we can see our price is breaking out now so let's try to zoom in and see if we can have a defined bearish price action to convince us to you know give us to go ahead to short this currency pair so what i can have right here now is i can figure out a well-defined bearish price action signal to aid our or uh, bearish signal on daily time frame however the higher time frame controls the lower time frame but if i want to get into this trade i want to get in right from the lower time frame and i have to figure out you know a bearish price action as well from the lower time frame before i can 
actually short this currency pair so what i'm figuring right here now uh, uh well i can figure out right here a bearish no engulfing bar right here but i am still not convinced with this or oh, price action right here. see i want to see pricing make a rotation right here to for more rejection before action actually act right and then there's something i want to show you according to the fundamental factors on the euro on the you know, canadian dollar currency ps so let's check out the news we have you no know, in relation to the canadian uh, economy here's the first factory and uh, what you guys can figure out right here is on friday we actually gonna have you no know, an impact news right here which is the canada employment change and then unemployment rate so if you want to take this trade right here today's Thursday, it means we have those 24 hours interval before the news actually comes in uh, one of my trading rules is whenever there is a news coming up you know in the market if i want to trade the currency pairs which is in relation to that news uh we I uh, have to deviate my attention away from the currency pair because news is unpredictable and uh, during the news time there's high tendency of volatility to increase so due to this factor i wouldn't be interested to show the us the canada i will instead have my ends crossed so maybe after the news after the market has gone crazy after the news after this um, dust are settled then i will wish to get into the trade if i can figure out you no know, a more or defined suitable level for me to exercise my trading decision so this is my personal opinion on the USD against the Canadian dollar and as well that uh, Canadian currency PSO because of the high impact news we're gonna expect on the employment change and the unemployment rate we can figure out right there the uh, forecast the previous results right there actually the forecast right here we can figure out right there these are the data right there and then we have high tendency for price these uh, factors right there to actually affect the uh, Canadian dollar currency pace. So I'm gonna have my hands crossed, then I wouldn't trade like to take this uh, currency pace due to the fundamental factor on its way. So, guys, if you haven't joined my uh, VIP members community, there's a link at the bottom of this video. Make sure you click on that link so you can become a uh, member of my VIP community. Every day, every week, I do share my trading decision, my trading entry level stop loss, you know my target, and then I do offer more quality educational content in this uh, community whereby you can also relate with other you know, VIP members in the community and then if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel do not forget to click on the subscribe button as us well like this video share this video and then put a comment down so i can know how you feel about this content and then do not forget to click on the notification bell so whenever i release external content of this kind you're gonna be the first to be notified so for now do have a wonderful day peace